There was no human involvement in tracking, detecting and shooting down the air target. The fact that new developments in AI are disclosed frequently and that many people don't pay attention to them is not surprising given the field's rapid advancement. Warfare is a prime example of AI developments. Warfare is now not a topic that people want to focus on, yet AI-powered fighter jets are a component of a rapidly evolving technology. DARPA, the research arm of the US Department of Defense, recently declared that its AI algorithms can now manage a real F-16 in flight. For those who are unfamiliar, an F-16 is a fighter plane that was initially introduced in 1978. As of early December 2022, it appears to be engaging in an autonomous play. At the Air Force Test Pilot School at Edwards Air Force Base in California, developers of the ACE algorithm put their artificial intelligence software onto a specifically modified F-16 test aircraft known as the X-62A or VISTA Variable In-Flight Simulated Test Aircraft and performed many flights over a number of days. The flights prove that AI agents are capable of operating a full-scale aircraft and providing priceless real-time flight data. 2019 saw the start of the UPAS Air Combat Evolution program as the organization started developing a human-machine dogfighting collaboration system. In 2020, it started testing flights powered by artificial intelligence. When the group held what was known as the Alpha Dogfight Trials, many firms competed to determine who could develop the most cutting-edge algorithm for an AI-powered aircraft. Since there are more than 600 Department of Defense initiatives integrating artificial intelligence into the country's defense programs, this ACE, who developed the Air Combat Evolution, is one of them. The government pledged in 2018 to invest up to $2 billion in AI over the following five years and spent $2.58 billion on R&D in 2022 alone. This article goes on to say that other AI military initiatives involve building robots, developing wearable technology and gathering intelligence. According to other stories, this initiative will continue testing flights into 2023, with the aim of creating a functional prototype by the end of the year. This is not at all surprising. Every industry, including warfare, will experience significant changes if AI continues to advance quickly. However, this wasn't the only autonomous device we observed in warfare that was eerily similar to what we just experienced. In fact, several of these events that changed the game happened quietly. Nevertheless, as we just mentioned in the section on warfare, AI will have an impact on everything. As you see, it's a little tricky. Warfare primarily involves the loss of human life. Now that AI is being used in warfare, it will be more effective and, of course, cause fewer human losses. Robots on the field reduce the number of humans required to be there, which lowers the number of casualties among humans. The US Air Force actually denied performing a simulation in which an AI drone murdered an operator during a recent test that was also conducted with them. So according to this Guardian report, it goes into detail on how a deployed AI drone utilized really surprising techniques to succeed. The US Air Force has denied that its behavior acted as an AI simulation in which a drone decided to assassinate its operator in order to stop it from meddling, according to the article's opening statement. Tucker Cinco Hamilton reported a simulated test in which a drone powered by artificial intelligence was instructed to destroy an opponent's air defense system and ultimately attacked anyone who disobeyed that command in an effort to fulfill its mission objective. The system began to realize that even if it had identified the threat, the human operator might occasionally instruct it not to eliminate it, while still awarding it points for doing so. What did it do then? The operator was killed by it. Because the operator was preventing it from achieving its goal, it killed them. And so it continues. We train the system. Hey, don't murder the operator. Doing so is nasty and will cost you points. What then does it begin to do? To prevent the drone from murdering its target, it starts destroying the communication tower that the operator uses. However, Hamilton, a former experimental fighter pilot, has cautioned against overly depending on AI and stated that the test demonstrated that it is possible to have a discourse about artificial intelligence, intelligence, machine learning and autonomy. If you don't intend to discuss ethics in AI, the story goes on to say that the US Air Force spokesperson has now denied that there was any such simulation. Whether or not these claims are accurate, it is intriguing that AI will eventually have a role in conflict, whether we like it or not. Huge Language Model Talent is one organization that is now changing how we interact with huge language models and what we can do with them. This company essentially organizes strategy on the battlefield using huge language models. The huge language model that they have created, which somewhat resembles ChatGBT, but is specifically intended for warfare situations, is what you are currently viewing. Thus, it begins with a notice that reads, Anomalous Military Activity Detected, as you can see. You can then ask this AI helper to give me more details by giving it a hint. 
Using the multimodal capabilities, you can see how it summarizes what actually occurred. Displays five distinct pieces of military gear in the area and allows you to ask and prompt it with various questions. It clearly demonstrates the type of attack that is most likely to occur. Then it provides us with a new source. Of course, you might then inquire about the nearby visuals as to what sort of potential defences we now possess. There are two alternative task possibilities presented. You can see that it states that an MQ-9 is nearby and that it can provide full motion video with a resolution of one meter. It also notes that there is another satellite nearby that could provide similar information. However, you can see that the user actually instructs the MQ-9 to be thrown to capture video of this location. The MQ-9 is a UAV, so it goes without saying that you can basically establish a tasking request to pass it along to the other commanders, as you can see below. The team member who approved it does so. The enemy tank may then be seen in the region when the drone decides to go across in response to our request. Once we've established that this is in fact true, we can then come up with three possible courses of action to take against this hostile equipment. In order to engage these enemy soldiers, we can now generate three different courses of action using this AI. What's particularly intriguing about this is that we can immediately distribute these to various team members so that you can plan out how to execute this efficiently. It's also interesting to note that through this, you can also see that this large language model has a ton of different real-time private data. And what's also interesting is that different members of the group are sending these three options to the commander for review. For instance, various commanders and soldiers from various units have access to various pieces of data while still respecting the privacy of those on this project. They do advise analyzing the battlefield while taking a striker vehicle and a platoon-sized unit into account. After that, the large language model decides to assess the terrain to determine the best course of action for where to traverse, how to move, and according to Boston Dynamics, what will be the most effective mode of transportation at the time. Boston Dynamics is another issue that people genuinely bring up. In relation to Boston Dynamics and the competition among autonomous AI systems, there are two things which we wish to mention. In the unlikely event that AI robots actually become rogue, what may occur? The truth of the matter is that Boston Dynamics has really had robots in the past that have been utilized by the military. These were once known as LS-3s. With assistance from DARPA and the US Marine Corps, Boston Dynamics created the LS-3 Legged Squad Support System. The LS-3 is equipped with sensors that enable it to follow a human commander while dodging hazards in the terrain, and in essence this was merely a military support unit. It was designed to carry 400 pounds of payload and travel 20 miles without refueling. Despite the fact that there have been numerous modifications to major language models and AI systems, warfare is still extremely different. You see, when a company or nation develops something that can be used in warfare, it is not advantageous to share that with the rest of the world. For example, superpowers like the United States spend billions of dollars annually on military research and whatever they learn and any groundbreaking work they produce is probably never going to be shared with us. Therefore whatever AI news we do receive from Boston Dynamics or other businesses will probably learn about these developments a long time after they've been put to use or deployed. That's all for today, if you liked this video please give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, bye bye.